What is going on guys, Snake Sports here, and tonight I'm going to be talking about North Dakota State, Bison, upsets, number 17th in the nation, Iowa Hawkeyes, 23-21. to Wow, what an amazing game by both teams, it was going back and forth, I mean I know it was a low scoring game, but still it was a fun game to watch, uh, crazy thing at in the, in the almost in the end of the fourth quarter, uh, North Dakota State tried to go for two, but they failed, so it was uh, 20, 21 to 20, um, and then a crazy thing also that Iowa like basically did a three and out, and then they punt the ball, thinking that they could win it on defense. But then North Dakota State comes all drives down all the way to uh, almost to the end zone and kicks a field goal to win the game. Uh, Iowa Hawkeyes were are now probably not going to be ranked. Uh, I mean, they are ranked 13th in the nation. I don't know what's going to happen next week after this loss. But North Dakota State is a good football team. Don't underestimate North Dakota State. They've won four or five straight FBS teams. They beat teams that are in the FBS, and they are in the FCS. So they won five straight FBS uh, teams. Correct me if I'm wrong. I do not know because I don't really follow North Dakota State. But I have this year for FCS level. Um, they've won five national championships in the FCS, FCS level. Uh, I think they beat, I think it's four or five people they beat. Um, Easton Stick did an amazing job. Their offense, uh, King Frazier also did a well, a good job for the running back. Um, North Dakota State runs like a pro style offense. Uh, like, kind of like the NFL, as you all know, that Carson Wentz, the quarterback who used to play for, uh, North Dakota State, is now with the Eagles. He's done really well, uh, on the team. Um, but that's just against the Browns, but I still feel like he's a better draft pick than Jared Goff. Alright, so, I'm going to give you the stats for tonight's game. Uh, North Dakota State, uh, quarterback, Easton Stick, 11 for 19, 124 yards, 1 touchdown, and 1 interception. While for Iowa, we have C.J. Beathard, 11 for 22, 152 yards, 3 touchdowns, and 1 interception. For rushing, we have King Frazier, 16 uh, carries, 99 yards, and 1 touchdown. While we have... For Iowa, LaShawn Daniels Jr., 14 carries, 29 yards, and 0 touchdowns. For rushing, we have, or I mean, my bad, for uh, passing, or for receiving, gosh, what is going on? For receiving, Connor Wentz, who's a brother, I believe, of Carson, uh, 2 receptions, 38 yards, 0 touchdowns. Bruce Anderson, 2 receptions, 38 yards, 0 touchdowns. While uh, Chase Morlock had 1 reception, 7 yards, and 1 touchdown. For Iowa, George Kittle, 5 receptions, 110 yards, 0 touchdowns. Matt Vandenberg, uh, 4 receptions, 39 yards, and 2 touchdowns. Riley McCarron, 1 reception, 39 or 30 yards, and 1 touchdown. For interceptions, we have MJ Smurf for North Dakota State uh, for 1, and Brian Snyder for Iowa. What a great game by both teams. Crazy endings. Could have gone either way. Um, congrats to North Dakota State for uh, coming out and beating a uh, number 13th ranked in the nation, Iowa Hawkeyes, away. And like I said before, this is their fifth time they've beaten an FBS team, I believe, or it's a 4 or 5, somewhere around that range. Um, they've won five national championships in the FBSCS. So this team knows how to play. They always come to play. They're a good football program, great coach, and, of course, a great team. Alright guys, Snake Sports here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to uh, talk about more about North Dakota State, let me know in the comments below, you Bison fans. And if you're a Iowa Hawkeye fan, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to talk about uh, your team as well. I will be happy to do that. Uh, I always love talking about college football because that's just what I love to do on this channel. Alright guys, this is uh, Snake Sports here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great night and peace.